So um, we have a very passionate and unusual concert uh, in that the music, all of the music that you're going to hear is not often performed. The overtures, the two Beethoven overtures are well known, the Egmont and the Coriolanus overture. They're great concert works and have always been a, a part of uh, classical programs, orchestral programs. But the inc complete incidental music to Egmont hardly ever gets done. And it's fantastic, colourful, dramatic. It's almost like cinema, music for the cinema by Beethoven. And it's all going to be tied together by a new translation by Ria von Hengel to, to knit the whole uh, Egmont together, which is going to be read and delineated by uh, Joris Smit from the National Theatre. So that's very, very exciting. So it's, you may not know the Egmont incidental music, but please come and listen to it because it's absolutely glorious. It'd like, be like going to see Star Wars by John Williams. It's that kind of colour, colour and drums and, and effects. And the Schumann Violin Concerto, there's a wonderful story about the Schumann Violin Concerto. You may or may not know, but towards the end of his life, Schumann went crazy and was admitted to a, a, a lunatic asylum, as they called them then. Um, uh, and the music that he was writing at this time, around the 1850s, 1852, 53, a lot of that music was suppressed by Schumann's wife Clara and Johannes Brahms, who he just met uh, when he was composing this violin concerto, and the great violinist Josef Joachim, who the concerto was written for by Schumann. To cut a long story short, uh, Brahms decided and Joachim decided that the, the piece should not be played. So Joachim deposited it in the Prussian State Library um, around the time of his death and said, nobody can get this out or perform it until 100 years after Schumann died. So there it lay. And now it gets a bit sort of Halloween-like. In 1933 in London, Joachim's, two of Joachim's Grand nieces were at a seance, a spiritual seance, and they were contacted by Schumann, apparently, who said, go and find this piece which has never been performed. Apparently then, they, at a second seance, they were told by Joachim, who appeared at the next seance, that it was in the Prussian State Library. So they went and found it, and there it was. They, found, they discovered this piece. Mm -hmm. um, and it was performed first in Germany in the late 1937 by a German violinist, Kuhlenkampf. It's been more and more performed and I think it's, hopefully it's becoming a, a staple of the violin repertoire and I'm so happy to be doing it with Tobias, who I had a wonderful time doing the Mendelssohn Concerto a, few, a couple of years ago. So if you don't know the Schumann Concerto, please come. It's a phenomenal piece of late Schumann which deserves to be heard, so come and hear it.